Caught on camera, a man was very close to dying as his body was fading to heroin. A Jurgensen police sergeant used several sprays of Narcan to bring him back to life. The night team's Patty Santos joins us in the studio to set the scene of what happened before this man passed out. And this is some dramatic video we're about to see. Pat. Yeah, it is. And it's going to play out right here. The Jurgensen uh, sergeant tells us it was a traffic stop involving a suspect who was out on bond. Initially, the officer had no idea that the suspect had just swallowed heroin. Is when he said, there's something wrong, my, my chest hurts. I swallowed a baggie of something. Jordanton Police Sergeant Joshua Walker watched the man collapse minutes after swallowing heroin. It happened last Thursday after a routine traffic stop. Walker had Narcan within arm's reach. Once he lost consciousness, uh, I could still hear, I could hear EMS getting close, so lost consciousness. We rolled him over and immediately put two Narcan in. Hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. His eyes rolling back, the suspect was not breathing. Two minutes and 13 seconds passed until the 30-some-year-old comes to. Almost as soon as I put the fourth dose in is when he, uh, he came to. Hey, 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 there you go. Hey, whoa, hey, buddy. Hey, can you hear me? His chest started uh, rising again. Um, he started breathing. This is the second time Sergeant Walker has used Narcan to help someone who's overdosed. It's having that, that antidote available is really, there's no value you can put on that. Jordanton Police Chief Eric Kaiser says the department's 10 officers started carrying Narcan boxes about a year ago. They are purchased through the help of a state grant. Instances like this where somebody just made a bad choice, it no longer has to be a deadly choice that they made that's going to cost them their life. Walker hopes that this video brings awareness about the everyday drug problems Texas law enforcement encounter. A life is a life, a person is a person, so if he's back and breathing, I mean, that's, that's all that matters at that time. My state law, Texas agencies are not required to carry Narcan. Those agencies that do are able to do so thanks to grants. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.